Hey guys, welcome to CS50 Readability Solutions. So today we will talk about the solutions. We will divide the solutions into four uh, sections. First, we get the user to key in the string. So we we'll use something called get strings. Secondly, we we'll use the sum concept and decline and initialize the local variables of letters, words, and sentences. So we also need to have a set of conditions to add the count. So third, once we get the letters, words, and sentences, we'll plug them into the formulas, of the index. So we will use a more precision data type instead of the integer. So uh, once we found the solutions, we have to round it to the nearest numbers. Once we have the nearest numbers, we have to categorize into three different categories. So before grade ones, grade index, uh, which is the answers and also the grade 16 plus so uh, let's move on so for the step ones we need to include a certain library so we get the user to key in the strings so we use the get strings and with the text here so after uh, the user key in the text strings so we'll print out the strings so this is the first step. So the second step is to include a certain library here. So this is what we talked just now. We have to use the sound concepts to decline and initialize the local variable. So um, what is um, the sound concept? The sound concept is something like initials the letters equals to zero. So if a certain condition is true, we will plus ones to the letters. So let's take a look to the letter words and sentences. So set letters, letters um, when we count a letter in the text, so for example, each letters in the text. So we count the number of uppercase, lowercase letter in the text. So it's not included the punctuations, digit, and also the symbols. So um, from here, we use the sound concepts, just like what we mentioned just now. So beside that, we will take a look with the words. So it's basically calculate the words in the sentences. So a word is actually a sequence of characters separate by a space. So we can see here, for example, the, the example here, there's six words, but also there are only five space. So it means that um, uh, there, there will be always a plus one here, so we can uh, ensure the local variable equals to one instead of zero. So after that, we will take a look with the sentences. So the sentences is uh, uh, any uh, any symbols, which is this tree, is called any periods, exclamation points, or question marks indicates a sentences. In these examples, we know that there's, uh, there's a lot of words and letters here, but they only have two sentences, and also uh, there are only two, two symbols, which is the exclamation point and also the periods. So we know that the symbols and the sentences are very related to each other. So let's go through the overall letters. We have to count upper lower case. So uh, for words is a plus one in uh, for the local variable and symbols and sentences are directly independent to each other. So the step three, step three is once we get the three value here, we plug into the index here. So we use a more precision data types. So for example, this is the formula here. So we use um, the L here means the letter divided by words and the S here is uh, sentences divided by words. So what we do here to get the position data type, we add in the float here. So you can see there's a bracket float. So uh, the variable also need to have a float here. So this is how we get a more detailed positions result. So after that, we also need to round to the nearest numbers, which is related to the step four. So 
and uh, we have to run off once we run off the solutions to the nearest number without decimal so we divide into three categories which if the solution is less than one will belong to the grad less than one uh, else uh, else if you have belongs to um, more than or equals to 16 the category if is between both of these condition so we will put it at the last uh, last category which is the grid with the solutions here lock with round off to nearest number without decimal so basically these are the four steps so now try to resolve the problem using the steps that I give you if you haven't so just pause the video and start it after you resolve the problem hey guys welcome back to the video so assume you resolve the problem by yourself so let's explain the solution using the code that I wrote so we will divide the solution into four sections so first we let uh, the, key, the user to key in the input we have to include the standard io.h cs50 so the string s equals to get string so when the user when the user key in the text we will print out some text so let's take a look whether it works or not use this yep so we can print out exactly what the user key in so secondly we will try to find the letter number of letter words and sentences but but we need to include another uh, library called string.h so for string.h we enable us to use this string length to find the number of um, uh, the length in the string so as I explained how we find this uh, these three local variable so initially we let the letter equals to zero so this is the con conditions for the letter if the characters in the string is is in between the lowercase a to the lowercase z or uppercase a to the uppercase z so what we mean for this is there's always a number here um, for example the a to z or a lowercase to lowercase z if any of our characters is in between this range so we we'll assume the statement is true so we we'll add the letter plus one here plus plus so as I explained just now the word and the space are uh, somehow related but need to plus one to the word so we use here the condition we find the space in the string but initially we already plus one here so so the words will plus plus so the third is the sentences so the sentences we have the uh, three conditions the period exclamation marks and the question marks so once the strings has these three symbols we will plus one here so this is how we find the three local variable here so as an example we can we can exactly see the exact numbers of calculations of words letters and sentences so we can try an example here so we will take this here so you can see here and here it's the same so we can we can say that this uh, program is so far so good so we we'll go to the third sections which is after we calculate uh, three letters here 
So after we calculate the three letter here, we have to plug plug it into the index. So you can see, yeah, we are still using the same library here. So we have to plot the formula here by adding the float here. As I mentioned here, the float is help us to get a more position solutions. So one to round off, we use the dot f to round off to a number without the decimal. So let's try. This is readability three. Okay, we, we start with the most easiest. Yep, is uh we can saw there's a the calculations of these three variables and the grid. So it's already round off to three. So so far the, the program is still working well. So we go to the last steps. So by removing the local variable number here, we just have to add two backslash. So after we as I explained in the PPT, after we found the number, so we just have to categorize it into the three category. If the number is less than one, we categorize as before grade one. If the number is grade greater than sixteen or equal to sixteen, we categorize as grade sixteen plus. Or you uh, or the number is in between these two conditions, we categorize it as the last conditions, which is the grade plus the numbers here without decimal. So let's try to see. How it runs. Okay, let's try with the example given in the problem. So before grade one is cool. So let's try the sixteen. Yep, it's 16 plus. Let's try another one, grade 10. Yep, it's perfect. So basically this is a solution to this problem with the ability. So that's it. So if you guys uh, um, love the video, Please subscribe and give some feedback if you have some uh, suggestions to ask for, for me to explain more clearer. Um, you can leave the comment sections. Thanks for watching and see you again guys. Thank you.